Hey guys, in this video we're going to go over how to find the equation of a line in slope intercept form when given two points. And uh, more specifically, I've done a video on this where the slope and intercept were integers. This one has some fractions and I think that it deserves a separate video because they intend to cause some extra trouble. But the procedures remain the same. So the first step that we're going to do is find the slope. Now there's a, vari uh, a couple of ways to do that, but my favorite method is to kind of draw these brackets comparing the x values and if this is our starting location and this is our end try to think of what happened over that scenario so if you started at 7 and ended at 12 that was an increase of 5 and from negative 2 and you end at 4 is an increase of 6 so the reason I specifically have the second number on the top, the, the change in the second numbers, is because the change in y values has to go on top and the change in x values goes underneath. So the slope in this case is 6 fifths. Now another important thing to remember is that slope intercept form itself is y equals mx plus b, where m is your slope and b is your y-intercept. So I'm kind of going to write this like as a template over here. I'm going to leave the m blank for now because that's actually what we found. We found the slope. And a little crooked here, but I'm gonna put that right there in for the slope. So we've actually taken care of step number one. It was find the slope, which was the change in y and there are change in x. There was no simplifying required and they were both positive, so this is what we got. Step two was to find the intercept. So we're gonna do that by plugging in one of the two coordinate points into the equation. Now, I'd prefer to steer away from negative, so I'm gonna to choose to go with this second point but you can pick either one and you'll get the, you should get the correct answer. So I'm gonna plug in 12 for x because that's where this is the x value and this is the y value. It's important that we plug them in the right spots. So I'm gonna put a 12 here, a four here, and then fill in the rest of the equation. Parentheses plus b, and I'm gonna try to color coordinate that, that pink so we can stay consistent here. It's close enough six-fifths. So now in terms of isolating B, we've got to simplify. Um, so six-fifths times 12, um, 12 is written as a fraction, is 12 over 1. So we're going to do 6 times 12, which is, if you think for a second, 72 over 5 plus B. Uh, let's try to stay with the colors here. And this is equal to four on the left hand side. Now in order to isolate B we have to subtract um, the 72 fifths. So we're going to take away 72 fifths from both sides. And this is st where things start to get a little bit tricky. We can't really subtract an improper fraction from a whole number so what we should do is convert this four to a denominator of five. So if we multiply four by five over five that turns this thing into 20 fifths. If we subtract 72 fifths, maybe it's canceled on the right, just getting caught up on that. But if we subtract 72 fifths from 20 fifths, we're going to be left with negative 52 fifths. And this was equal to b. So we found the second step. The third step is kind of just putting all the pieces together. So we've got y equals our slope, which is 6 fifths, we found that in step 1. x is the input variable we have to keep, and the, uh, the y-intercept is found right here. It's minus 52 fifths. And that is our finished equation. The process doesn't change just because there's fractions involved. It still comes down to these three steps. But just be careful right here, when you have to subtract like a fraction like this, remember that you need common denominators. It's going to be the most helpful thing that you can do to help you get the right answer. So here is an equation in slope-intercept form given two points. And we have a fractional slope and a fractional y-intercept. And I hope that the example helped you out. And... Um, and how you can apply this now. So um, I know in our class, we're going to be using trend lines to predict future points. And 
the trend lines that we're going to be writing are in slope intercept form. So this is kind of the first step towards being able to make predictions. So again, hope the video helps you and best of luck.